Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assess clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues for their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. One of the services that we're most frequently asked to perform by our clients is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. That's something that a Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when you factory reset a device without first removing the Google account that's on it, the device will then ask you for that login again after the reset as a security verification. Now, here with us today, we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E, originally from Verizon here in the US. We can see the Verizon logo there on the back. And this is actually one that we are working on because it does have the Google account lock enabled. So as we're going through the setup process here, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with the same account that was on it previously. Now we're making this video to show everyone and to let any interested clients know that we do offer a way to be able to remove that from the device. And that's actually exactly what we're gonna do right here, right now. 99% of the work has already been done and we just need to get the last of it finished up here. So let me work on that. And then we'll just have to restart it. And then we should be able to see that after that, we can then successfully get through the lock or the setup wizard without seeing that lock. Tons of clients have contacted us asking them or asking us to help them with this type of issue because usually either they got themselves locked out of their own device and didn't remember their login information or the second case is that they were ripped off by a dishonest seller when they bought the device who didn't tell them that the phone or tablet had that lock enabled. So there we've got the Verizon logo showing of course. And if we give it just another second, it should finish starting up. Okay, so now it actually turned on to the lock screen, as we can see the notifications there. So if we just do a swipe, there we go. So we're now at the tablet's home screen. We have full access to all the apps and features, and that lock has been successfully bypassed. So let me just jump into the settings and show you exactly what we're working with here. So we'll show you the model name and the number just so you see what we're working with. It's the T377V, and so that is the Galaxy Tab E, specifically the Verizon variant. So that's been successfully removed off of there. And if you have a Galaxy Tab E that has the Google account lock enabled, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all the info there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that we're constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes no duden contactarse con nosotros. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.